And once again, with the clear skies, a clean sweep on live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar. As you can see, Sydney, Piqua, Union, Dayton, over to the Connorsville and Richmond area. Down south, plenty of dry weather as we look at Montgomery County, Miamisburg, and just south of us there, down to Carlisle and Middletown, looking at the dry conditions. Lewisburg up in Preble County, and it looks like we will be staying dry most of the weekend, although there will be a slight chance of a shower late in the day on Sunday, but by then we'll be pretty much through the weekend. And for your drive home tonight, about 7 o'clock, 33 degrees. If you're heading out for dinner, 29 degrees with clear skies at 9 o'clock and taking in a movie at 11 o'clock, about 27 degrees. So it is going to be another cold night, a cold morning as well, and a frosty start to the day, but light winds through the day. Plenty of bright March sunshine should boost that temperature into the upper 30s by lunchtime and by 5 o'clock up into the mid-40s. So it's finally starting to look a little bit more like spring. There's the Great Miami River, and you can see the bright conditions there, the blue skies reflecting off of the river as well. 37 degrees, current reading at Dayton International with a wind out of the north-northeast at 9. A little bit of a wind chill factor there at 30. We had a high today of 39 degrees, actually around 3 o'clock this afternoon. And then 19 degrees was our low temperature this morning, and that was actually about 15 minutes past sunrise, which is typically when you find the lowest temperature of the day on a clear night, about 15 to 20 minutes past sunrise before the heat of the sun starts to warm things up. 77, our record high, 1983. One below zero back in 1978. Of course, we all remember that winter. It was a cold one, 77, 78. And our weather checkers tonight, variations here in the readings as you get south of town, a little less snow cover. Temperatures have been just a touch warmer, 43 in Middletown, 42 in Kettering, but then you get a little more snow cover as you head west out towards Eaton, 37 degrees there. Dorothy Nevis in Fairborn at 38, and Tom Wyckoff in Springfield tonight reporting a temperature of 40. So uh, again, a chilly day. Coldest readings have been found right here from Dayton, Lima, up towards Mansfield, where we've had those temperatures between about 35 and 40, but you get away from the snow cover. Very little snow on the ground around Indianapolis and the counties surrounding Indianapolis, and they've warmed up into the upper 40s this afternoon. But we won't be quite that warm, but should make it into the mid-40s tomorrow. Look at the spring temperatures south and west of us. 60s there. Again, that air will be modifying as it moves northeastward, but no real cold Arctic air showing up over the northern tier of the country. So it uh, doesn't look like we'll be uh, seeing any brutally cold weather for sure over the next several days. Plenty of dry conditions thanks to high pressure just northwest of us. That high will very slowly drift east and southeastward as we go through the weekend. Of course, those south winds around that low pressure center to the west of us bringing the milder air north northward into the Plain States. So with that system of high pressure over us tonight, look for clear skies, calm winds later tonight, and that'll allow that temperature to drop down into the upper teens to about 20 degrees for the overnight low. And then finally some milder temperatures building back in across Illinois and Indiana tomorrow as that high drifts off to the southeast. Another cold start to the day on Sunday, and then clouds increasing on Sunday as we head towards Sunday evening, a chance of some showers moving in from the west. Tonight, clear skies. We're heading down to about 20 for that overnight low. You get north of Interstate 70, more than likely about 15 to 20 for the overnight uh, low temperatures. More sunshine tomorrow, though, as we get up to 45. That'll be three days in a row. We won't know what to do, will we? 31 at 10 o'clock, 38 at lunchtime, and there's your readings into the mid-40s by the time we get to late day, 37 at 7 o'clock in the evening. Increasing clouds on Sunday. Could see a late day shower. Slight chance of shower Sunday night. Looks like dry weather Monday. And could we be flirting with 50 degrees? There's that potential. Okay, Brian.